This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, in split for each page list property is very important. Page list or page group property is very important, and that page list or page group property will uh, take care of uh, um, you know having multiple uh, um, what do you say. Uh, multi same process it will execute multiple times and we split for each right so how do we do that uh, we need one property we need one uh, one uh, mm, uh, what do you say we need one process actually so let's have one process so when I say page list property a page list property will uh will be referencing another class yes or no uh, if you look if you look into our apply loan this is one of our page property it's it, it can be a page list or it can be a page property so when i'm saying page property it is re ref, uh, referencing another uh, another uh, uh, what do you say another uh, class it can be data class it can be any other class so uh always what even though we are creating in the work class if you see here even though we are creating the work class this applicant details will have reference of uh, this single page only this particular page definition only that means when i say applicant details it will call all the properties which are there in data dash applicant if i expand can you see all the data class data class will be will be there here okay so now what i do here uh in this i'll be going to add nominees okay so when i add nominees in the apply loan uh, they are asking us to add nominees also so let's create nominees add nominees configure view so i'm taking nominee details okay so nominee details is an embedded data i have to give the data so it should be embedded data so it can be in them three or four nominee details so i'll take from applicant only submit okay submit so for all these nominee details i want to create one insurance uh, mm, insurance uh, uh, insurances okay for each of them i have to create insurances so how do i create insurance okay my my you instance got locked So add nominees. I think it could have created. No, we didn't create. Okay. Let me check. Yeah, it created here. Yeah, save. So for these nominees, I want to give, uh, I want to provide. Uh, some instances insurance details so how do i do that okay so for that i need to create process first so where do i create process i'll create process in um this applicant why because my nominees are also calling applicant right so here i'll create an uh, uh, what is that process so process flow rule uh, add insurance okay so here flow action open the flow action so everything i'm creating in data class see here add insurance details save 
<coughs> so section is not created that's why it is throwing an error so let us create a section so in this section i'll add label for now okay so save section save flow action submit save flow rule now this flow rule i have to use it in my mm, main flow rule that is in our applied one. <laughs> okay so let me add another stage sorry i can add here itself so i'll take this to here insurance so here i'll add process okay so let's create open this process we are in worker class in worker class i'll go to advanced split for each and in this split for each i have to add a process how many process i can add in split for each only one because split for each is if you see here it is iterating here itself so double click on this see it will ask you page property can you see here page list or page report without page list or page property you cannot create so we have something called as normally details so select it so automatically class has come in that do you have any flow yes we have flow called as add instance so add that iterate save so on which property it will uh, uh, iterate on normally details how many normally details you give those many um those many uh iterations it will do <clears throat> okay split for each is for iterations only so save so let's save this okay so we changed it so it will be in stale refresh it save now you got split for each also save and run Can you see normally details are there here you add normally details So how many flows it will create three flows okay so this is we are in this particular place add instance we didn't configure that right so advance this shape now you see there will be three flows refresh did you look add instance add instance add instance we got three now so three processes it will create okay iteration all three are same click on this go it is instance only submit refresh can you see our instance another one is there refresh you will show another two open this submit it will show you another one yes can you see another one it's shown once you finish it it will go to next screen loan process see this is finished so why did you get three there you got three because 
you have selected three page list properties uh, sorry three uh, records in the insurance details here uh, in the split for each what did you do uh, split for each you have uh, used three properties there so that is the reason why it was showing okay so understood split for each here so in split for each you selected what dot nominee details so how many nominee details are there those many times <laughs> it it will be iterating okay now here here also you have all any extra thing is iterate over here because uh iteration is here because uh, uh, this is a split for each right so you are going to iterate for number of times so that's why it is it is having iterate so whenever you have iterate you have to write one when rule until when to exit this iteration <coughs> So if write any only one will be there if i write some same in some i'll write two instead of on when i'll write two so after two it will get exit uh, it will go to the next screen so right apply loan so let's add nominees Okay, I'm adding five. So how many flows it will create? It will create five flows. One, two, three, four, five. Out of them, if you submit two, it will exit from here. So one, why? Because on count I said, so one time is finished. <coughs> Another one I'll do, second time, this is. So on count, I went to with two. So after two, it went to loan process. Look here, it is now loan process. So that is about join condition in uh, split for each. Then we go for split spin off. Okay. Basically, without create, without creating an account, you cannot apply for loan. Yes or no? So first thing is what? You should create an account or whenever you are applying a loan you want you have to create an account also Okay, so account creation should be done and During this time you want to also do apply loan. So how do I how do you do this? Or some process should happen automatically So how do you do that? Okay, so for that uh, You can go for spin-off without waiting for the uh, Waiting for what waiting for another process to complete Okay, so what I do now here, I remove this pin of uh, split for each now. Okay, I'll add spin off. For spin off, there is no shape. Okay, so then which one you have to add? You have to add sub process. So sub process is the spin off shape. <coughs> Okay, so in sub process add another process. So where it is? Is it on an embedded page? You can write that embedded page. Nominee details, process flow. So it is doing here you have spin off flow. So select this. So if check this process will be executed as a spin off flow while the current flow continues to execute. So your current flow will not have any issues. Okay. Let's see what happens. 
So this is spin uh, sub process shape. So save and run. Submit. So now we don't have any problem with this because I am not doing anyways. Uh, split uh, for each, right? So I'm adding only two here. So submitted. Uh, now it is in appliance in advanced, right? Okay. So it should be only page property. Okay. Uh, I took it as page list property. Let's see. Can you see now? Your spin off shape is still there. You did. That is still there. Can you see? Add instance. So no one is no one is uh, working on add instance, but directly it went to the loan process. Yeah. See, you can complete this loan process, but still your instance, this add instance is still there. It went to verify docs. See. Means it is going to sub it is going to complete everything which is already there in I mean which is means the current flow is not waiting for your uh, spin off process to complete your spin off is not completed yet still you are going to the other thing. Yes, so you are oh, sorry. Can you see this ad instance is there at this place. It is not completed, but you went to this at the end. Your end means all the process in your case also completed. That is the spin off shape. So you will not wait for the uh, process to complete. Your main flow will execute. Go on executing. So when do you use this means whenever you have parent and child case, uh, sorry, whenever you have two top level cases and you do not want to wait for the other other case to uh, execute or other case to complete. So shall we do that? <clears throat> yes. Um, yeah, how do I do now this one? Uh, go to apply loan. So open this process. Sub process. On a specific work item. So write that work item. Mm, we don't have any work party work property. Uh, spoke work item. See here it is now going to create account. Okay. Let's see whether we can run this. Supply loan. So there is no parent and child case here. But I'm asking another case to work complete. Achha. Unable to find the page. So page should be there it seems. 
Mm, we didn't write that page. Yeah. Okay, this anyways, it will call a process only. If we call process so loan process flow I'm calling here spin off save so now I remove this loan process flow from here okay anyways that is taking care of that is taking care here only okay save and run Submit. Submit. So it directly went to the post assessment, but actually we have sub process there uh, with a spin off ship, which is called as loan review loan details. So it is, you know, it will not wait for it. That is about spin off. So these are the three, three things in parallel processing. One is creating um, uh, what is that? Creating mul mul multiple process you will have. Uh, it will be uh, executing independently, and it will wait for the main. It will halt the main flow. That is split join. Only one process will be there. It will be doing. It will be iterating multiple times, um, which is called a split for each and for that we need a page list or a page group property and there would be a sub spin off uh, option in sub process where it will not wait for the main it will not wait for the sub process to continue to complete instead the main flow will execute parallelly okay parallelly and uh, it will not wait for the sub process to complete or uh, execute okay so that is split spin off shape in spin off uh, option in uh, sub process shape so yesterday we were dealing with this right so two people are working on this how they would be uh how they would be um what is that working parallelly right but i want now that stage how do i get this stage man can i get the stage back yes that is called as history so how do i do that expand apply loan uh this case life cycle is available under which process which uh, which pro, which uh, rule case type rule p5 default p5 default case type rule so in this go to history and in the history select view full history just now we have say uh, can you see here deleted the loan process stage right so let's open that okay let's open that and check whether loan process stage is there or not yes we have loan process stage so i want this just click on restore save now you go and see save refresh Did you get your uh, loan process or not now? So whenever you feel that or whatever I'm doing is wrong, I should go back to the previous one only. Then open the rule. Open the rule. Go to history. In the history, you'll have view full history. And select the one which you want to uh, restore. Click on this pencil icon to review and restore it. That's it. So now we got this. So this is the place where we are looking for it, right? What is this? This is split join. So how do you make two uh, two people work on the same case? So in Pega, we call that as locking mechanism. By default, Pega locks your case until that fellow will submit it or closes it uh the submissions i he closes that particular tab 
So under unless he never closes the tab, he or she never closes the tab, that will not be unlocked. It will uh, sorry, it will not. It will be under locked one only. Yeah, that will not be unlocked. Um, that will be in an unlocked position. So other person will not take uh, charge on that. So the tab will be always available, right? So for for example, I am opening the rule and uh, Gokul is also open the same rule. So we both are opening the same rule means rule is fine, right? For a rule, we have check in and check out. So if I opened when Gokul opens it, Gokul will know that will be no uh, knowing it that Satish has already opened the rule. Right, but for a case, how do you do that? For a rule, you have check in, check out. But for a case, do you have check in, check out things? No, we don't have it. So for that, what Pega says is, no worries. Pega follows some locking mechanism where if someone is opening it, a same case. If some someone is opening another one, as the another person is also opening the same case, we will lock it. But how much time you will lock it means by default it will be locked for 30 minutes after 30 minutes lock will go off exclusive lock or whatever the lock we have done that will be going off and other person will can work on it so for 30 minutes it will get locked you can change that 30 to 1 hour 60 minutes you can do it but how do you do lock how do you lock it do you think that only one person will work at the same time means no right there right there are requirement where multiple people multiple people have to work on a case same case then how do you make changes how do you do it right so for that what you need to do is go to case type that is apply loan in apply loan you have settings in the settings somewhere you see locking okay so locking is for the concurrent access to this case and all child cases right so locking can you see here locking to open and work on a case so how many users you are allowing by default pegasus only allow one user which is called as default locking locking or pessimistic locking and this is called as allow multiple users is is allowing multiple users uh, to work on the same case and which is called optimistic locking or um, yeah optimistic locking only optimistic locking. okay so it is called as optimistic locking so how many how much time it will do can you see here how much time it will wait or it will lock 30 minutes you can change this 30 to 60 you can change like that but by default it is what 30 minutes okay and you can see here lock the case until timeout that is 30 minutes or user submits or closes the case whichever comes first so whatever comes first whether he has to close it or whether he has to submit it or whether he has whether it the time should be completed so whatever it is first then their locking will be removed from that particular case so as it is allow one user that's the reason why yesterday we are not able to do uh lock uh, uh work on that okay so that's why what i do now i'll make it as allow multiple users so whenever it is allow multiple users whoever submits first that will be persisted okay so now i'll create a case Okay, so it went to English, it went to Telugu. So let's go and I'm logging off. So let's open with English. Rules, so English opened. go to in private window local host
okay so it is not showing anything because i am in express food so click here and change it to bank app similar to that you also do here check bank app now you see there is 8041 here and as well as here 8041 open this so i already opened if i open this now for that fellow it should show as what it should show as log i'm opening this see it's not showing lock yesterday it was showing lock for us right or not now it is not showing lock why because we used what we used multiple users hello multiple users so i'll submit this okay now there is credit check so this field also will submit this so it is saying that the case was updated by english so i'll refresh what is there in it i'll refresh and submit so that will also got submit as i said you right whoever first submits that will go into the data this fellow cannot use on or work on it <clears throat> okay so hope you understood now right allow multiple users to work on it yes so what we did we have used locking mechanism where allow multiple users will allow multiple people to work on the case but make sure uh, that whoever sub uh, not make sure but understand that whoever submits first that data will get persisted the other one's data will not get persisted okay yeah this is fine super okay so we have something else now okay fine this is fine you are saying good i mean two processes all are good and nice happy so now what is that is i'll make this create account as a uh, child case for this so how do i make parent and child case okay so you know it right how to make parent and child case so on this apply loan there is three button right three dots click on this and create uh, uh, select add a child case type so do you want to create new one or existing one i want to go for existing one what is that create account submit now you can see apply loan has become uh, sorry create account has become child case for the apply loan see here i am linking them but you know when you see uh, when you see it practically create account is not a child case for apply loan understood so this is not a child case because when i say child case, child class child class it should be like this applicant if data if an applicant so applicant is a child class for data data is child class of bank bank is a child class of fw fw is child class of bank so it should be like that but this is not like that can you see here apply loan is different and create account is different no i am not making classes as parent and child instead what i'm making i'm making their cases as parent and child cases what do you mean by that means one case creating another case okay so that is called as parent and child case where there is a dependency here if there is no dependency then no you will not go for parent and child here there is a dependency what is the dependency until and unless your child case is not completed you cannot continue your parent case that is the dependency so if there is a dependency then what you do you will go for a parent and child cases so how to create parent and child cases click on this and there is something called as child child case type so you are creating <clears throat> parent and child case types like this uh, so sorry where, to disturb mm. yeah uh, 
uh, why don't we create like create account as process in that only apply no uh, why uh, again? So, right very good so yes so most of the times this is also an interview question where what they say is why do you want to go for a child case why not a process right because create account also have many processes right why don't you add directly their process yes i can do that also but one is i don't want to make my case type complex because if there are four stages in create account and apply loan also having four stages then it becomes eight stages which which where i don't want my case type to be complex number one so i want to divide them into uh, small small processes okay so that we have a separate case type for apply loan and separate case for create account that is number one number two not every time you may create a create or uh, create a case as a child case for apply loan here in our example someone will create account that's it they will go for only account creation they don't go for apply loan like for me for example i am there i have uh, one debit uh, sir credit card in access bank so i don't have any account over there i have only credit card but there are people who don't have credit card and they have account only so here the same thing if i want a loan in access bank i'll call to access bank people and say i want to apply for a loan yes they will say yes we will doing we will be doing the uh, loan process and in between that this they will create an account for me which is called as loan account now for example you are there you also want to you also want to take uh you want to use or utilize access bank uh uh what do you say all the <clears throat> offers so for that what you thought is you want to create an account in access bank now tell me do you go for apply loan and create account or you only go for create account first only create account so that time if you add this create account as a process in apply loan then what your uh, what your access bank people will tell sir or madam if you want to create account you have to take loan only yes or no if you want to create account you have to take loan from access bank then only i can create an account i cannot create directly an account in access bank is this happens no right so what i did i made into a separate case type so that i can use that as an independent case also like i can create account directly i can create uh, account here right or not i'll click on save and run and can create it yes i'll create a case over here yes then this will create an account for my customer if someone says apply loan yes that fellow will take up loan and for that loan process he has to create account yes both will be doing separately uh, done uh, happily right so that is another uh, uh, example why do you know go for parent and child case type and the third most important or you can make it as first reporting will be easy for me okay generating reports will be very easy for me because all the data will be uh, bifurcated right this data in apply loan this data in create account that loan will be in credit cards so all the process will be divided properly here so that i can get easily data so reporting will be easy for me when i go for a uh, child case so understood why there is a need of parent and child case here yes yes god yes this is an interview question guys when do you go for child case relationship why do you want to go for it yes these are the three things i can use it as independent case i can my reporting will be very easy when, when i go for this and complex i am instead of going for two three processes in the same case type i'll go for a separate case type so that process will be do i mean um, it will be uh, the complex process would be become simpler to me and authority changes also if there are many authority changes also that can be done separately by uh, my case type uh, child case type that is also one of the uh, option authorities 
right create account right um in create account yes we have this then how do you add this child case in create account okay so how do i add so i'll delete this now here for now mm, or else i'll add here so how to add click on step more in automation we have a um, uh, automation step called as create case guys every automation step is an at, a, activity only okay so don't think automation is coming from uh, clouds okay or from somewhere else okay so automation steps are activities given by pega to us we are using them and they are called as otb activities out of the box activities so create case is also one of the activity given by pega for us and it is having two options whether you want to create a case or you want to create a child case create a case means top level case so this is spin off case we can say it as a spin off case so it will not bother whether parent case is uh, completed or not or even parent case will not bother whether child is completed or not okay so i don't want to go for a top level case i will want i want to go for a child case so select here so as already create account is a child case it will show you here child case do you want to create multiple cases no i don't want to create i want to create only one case so let us save this save and run now you see after this is apply loan submit this is apply loan this is apply loan i am still in the first step first stage submit insurance apply loan now it went to loan process see create case is also done guys but is it waiting for create case to complete no because you didn't create any dependency you said create a case that's it you said that create account case can you see here created already create is already done but there is no dependence you didn't add any dependency so it is completing all these things okay so let me uh, let me again do it so let me make this post as a this one resolve the case save save and run submit submit <clears throat> so apply instance so it directly went to loan process submit so verify doc submit credit check submit review loan details submit get approval approve can you see it went to confirmation submit see still this is not completed but your parent case got resolved but the child case is it resolved no so there should be one um what i say dependency over here okay there should be a dependency where you should not complete your apply loan until create case this this case is there right oh, sorry yeah. create account is there right is completed so here you see create account has not your account has not completed but apply loan is confirmed loan is confirmed how is possible it's not possible right so you should have a case dependency so how do you create a case dependency in pega so to create a case dependency in pega you should add another step called as wait step <laughs> okay so in this you have wait two types of waits case dependency and timer case dependency means are you is there any case dependency means another child has to wait or what so wait for all child cases to be resolved you can select this so that what are the child cases are there that can be uh, that will be uh, if they are resolved only 
then you can you will continue this process else you cannot continue the process okay so account creation create account save it <coughs> Uh, this I will come this I will resolve here so After this resolving only it will continue to this one now wait is what waiting for what waiting for create account to resolve Save you can select this or you can just select any create account to be resolved like this okay so now you see last time it completed and it was not open at all but now it directly opens your child case because you mentioned what wait you said wait so you are main case that is a parent case will wait until the child case is completed see here which one came got it where it went it went to the child case why as i said you right dependency is there so i'll create i'll create complete this okay create account advance now where it came it came to apply loan in the apply loan after completing this wait it went to directly loan process so it will go to the loan process and does the all these things right so loan sanctioned no like this got it so how it has created here apply loan it went to this now the beauty is i mean now what we have to do is let's assume that open this process let's assume that this is done by some other operator Let's write that operator. I'll go for Telugu operator only. Submit. Save. So we have already one operator open, right? Who is this operator? Telugu operator only. I'll change. I'll change that to Hindi operator. Okay, this is Hindi operator. So I change to Hindi operator. That means who is doing your child case? Apply loan is done by one operator and child case is done by another operator so now what i do is i go to telugu operator and create case of apply loan so let's refresh it apply loan i'm creating apply loan what is the case id oh, oh. apply loan okay uh, so what's the case id see the case id now 8045 so advancing this case can you see now it went it went to the create okay so it went to the create and is also waiting for the create account to resolve 
okay so this is showing here wait for create account to resolve so did you create uh, this is is it completed can i open this i cannot open this because that is done by whom that is done by hindi operator so let me uh, i am in okay so i am in uh, i am in parent okay 8045 and i want to complete this parent here so anyways i am in parent so let me complete this at the same time at the same time assume that hindi operator is also logging off uh, logging in okay so don't get confused see create apply loan is done by one operator and create account is a child case which we are routing that to the another operator that's it that operator is called as hindi operator so my god hindi operator does not have what does not have access to bank app so i have to give access so check here how i'm giving access to hindi operator to give access operator should have what operator should have access group so let's open and see hindi operator is having bank app uh, operator or not uh, bank of access group or not okay so let me open hindi operator record access what do you mean by access group access group is a rule which gives permission to access an application so i am asking hindi operator to do the work in bank app but let me check whether this fellow is having access to that application or not so this is my operator hindi operator and see the access group he is having access to open express food but not bank app so let's app let's use bank app okay bank app users so this will give you what permission to open bank app users uh, bank app application got it understood the uh, purpose of access group now so access group is used to give permissions to uh, open an application for an operator if an operator does not have access group then he cannot open any application so now my hindi operator is not able to open bank app okay because he does not have access to that application so i want to give access to this application so to give access to this application i have to open the operator and see access group what access group it is so if it is not having the bank app or uh, access group then provide it so i did that so when i open it is showing express food but in my application here if i click he will have two applications so let me go for bank app now you see create account 1006 is there so let me click on 1006 okay so i am here so let me go back to apply loan submit 8045 see um this fellow is able to do it yes or no this fellow is able to do it why you should ask me why why two people can do task now means if you look into so i have to log off one both people are working properly now why why means your apply loan is tell me guys your apply loan has which type of locking mechanism allow multiple user locking mechanism just go and check
see hello multiple user we have multiple users. that's why I am able to open my child case with another operator. I can also work with the uh, uh, parent case also because if parent is having optimistic locking that is allow multiple user the same will be have uh, will be uh, uh, you know passed to the derived class. Okay, the same will be available for the derived class also. So your create account will also have what? allow multiple users only can you see here locking strategy is inherited it is deriving from the parent case right or not inherited from the parent case type optimistic strategy instance of this case type can be accessed by multiple users at a time so it can be accessed no worries because my apply loan is multiple uh, allow multiple users only so when this is all multiple users, this will also be multiple users. Now let me change apply loan to allow one user. And see, now you come back to this create account. This will change now. Can you see now which strategy it is? default strategy and you cannot uh, make a deal uh, default strategy. instance of this case type cannot can be accessed only one user at a time so only one user can work on this case and another one is if you are working on child case your parent is also got will get locked okay see here your parent case also will lock. Let's see whether our parent case is getting locked or not when I am working on child case. So for that, what I should do? I should create, I should log in with Hindi operator at the rate foodexpress.com. Okay. So let this be like that. Uh, let me move. Let me move to bank app. Okay, so bank app. Yeah, so I will go back to the Telugu operator and create a case. So now totally changed your apply loan is what it's a default locking one. So when apply loan is default by default your child will also be default because it will inherit locking from locking strategy from parent case only so submit okay so see here it is not able to open the other ones last time it was showing all uh, sorry it is now in the create account so click on apply loan okay so you are in create account okay i'll do it again um so i am in are both are hindi operators only Achha, that's the problem. Uh, let me log off. Let me log in with Telugu operator. Okay, I'm in Telugu operator. Let me create apply loan. So submitting, submitting this, submitting. So add. Can you see now? It, this is into the uh, create. Uh, this is into Hindi operator. That is C one zero zero eight. So I'm not opening that. Let me open review details. Click on go. So let it be like this. Now. Uh, assume that this fellow went to here uh, 
this is hindi operator now can you see here it is in the operator now c1008 is there so now i am working on parent case can you see 8047 a 8047 is being currently modified by see i am opening this create account i am opening this okay click on go it went to apply loan only right directly it went to apply no it is not able to open uh, this one so click on go yes so locking mechanism is applying over here because it is parent case and child case here so whenever there is a parent and child case whatever the parent has the locking the same locking will be acquired to the child but sometimes even the child is uh, child is um, you are working on a child parent should not get locked then how do you do that default locking though both will be locked right you cannot open both the cases but there might be a complex requirement where they say that array you one person will work on child case the other person should also work on parent case your child case should not lock parent so how do you do that means for that you have to select the checkbox in child case this is also very important this is also interview question locking is interview question whatever i am telling this uh, uh, all the uh, you know data now right all the whatever the lecture i am giving you here uh, topic all the all are important from every point they will ask you one interview question on this on the locking mechanism okay so rajesh at the rate so what happens i am showing each and everything what happens if it is optimistic what happens if it is uh, <coughs> default locking and all right so now you are doing it practically so you'll understand and you can easily tell the uh, answer when they ask you question on this okay so question is how do you make sure that parent will run even though child is executing how do you unlock your parent even though your child is executing so how do you do that means for that what you have to say is yes for that both your parent case should be default locking that is number one parent case should be default locking yes parent case should be default locking and in child case you have an option under locking a checkbox option in the sense checkbox which is called as allow other user to access parent case when the child case is opened so when you have this or when you select this your parent case can execute got it your parent case can execute though your child case is uh, also uh, working on it or accessed by that can be accessed by other user also so this option you have to say what do you say one is parent case should be optimistic locking and the child case in child case you have a checkbox saying that allow other user to access parent case when the child case is open select it so there will be no problem for locking mechanism for a parent you can say that now i log off so i log in with um don't i have any operator which is bank app i think i don't have um hindi at the rate op sorry Hindi op at the rate express food.com rules okay. 
in the op at the rate express food dot com rules ho oh, ho oh. what happened now this time am i giving a wrong spelling or what yeah bank so this is hindi now so let me go to telugu so this is telugu create a case apply loan okay so i am not able to open create case here can i open create case yeah i am opening it that's why it was throwing an error but i can't do anything there okay so i'll be in review details is not uh, i am opening this i am opening and oh, doing it now i'll go back here uh, this is hindi now so home then in my work list it will show me some other one so click on go see it is opening last time it was not opening for us so let it be like this and now i'll go for apply loan and complete this i'm able to complete yes i'm able to complete there is no error because what did i what did they say they said that you can continue parent case even though child is getting executed so that's what is happening let me submit this so from child how do you open your parent so here there is breadcrumb right so in this breadcrumb you can see apply loan 8048 you can see that so in this way you can open parent and child cases you cannot work on it because operator are different but you can open still you can open it so let me uh submit this you cannot complete this action now because it's parent case age zero four is logged by telugu and your app action updates the age zero four eight try again later so till here it is okay because uh, after that you are uh, telugu operator uh, should com complete it right so yes no wait so i went to dependency over here that's why it, it is waiting so let me click on advance this case finished got it i was open i opened that already i opened the same one that's why it is throwing me that error already i opened now you see it's gone finished now it went to this uh, verify docs and review loan details which will which when it went to 8048 okay that is about parent and case parent and child case and as well as locking mechanism is this uh, done means no we have to think about something else what is that how the data will be there in clipboard when there is a parent and child case yes or no clipboard is very important guys if you know clipboard Uh, how the data is getting stored in which page it is getting stored 50% of pega is done rajesh direct food express dot com rules okay so what's the question in which page the parent data is stored in clipboard while you are working on a child case right so your apply loan is there you have data save and run you know this do you know in which page if you know it you can text me in which page it will store the data right you are in the apply loan itself apply loan yes you are in apply loan i am opening child case 
then where is my parent data parent data gone if parent data is gone then sometimes you need data from parent to child also how do you propagate data from parent to child that is also a problem right so to avoid this problem what pega does is pega will store the parent data in another page while you are working on child case so see here you are working on child case this is create account is a child case so in which page it will create can you see there see in the brackets what it is there ban iphone india iphone sales iphone bank of iphone work iphone um, apply loan yes all right so what did you understood now whenever you're working on a child case the parent case data is stored in a page called py work cover py work cover says that it is a parent case click on this so when you say this is a parent case then this parent will have a child right how many childs are there how do you know that can you see your px covered count this px covered count will tell you how many number of child cases are there and px covered op count open will tell how many child cases are opened so to get the values you should know which property stores the count and uh, how many are opened got it so let me check these two things in pv work page so what is pv work page now the pv work page is create account that is a child case click on this and see here what is there here px covered count is zero and px covered count is uh, zero what do you mean by zero zero yes zero zero because it is child case this child case is not having any other child cases right that's why px covered count is zero and px covered count op uh, open is also zero but for this you have one one right which is that that is py work cover got it so it is open open is one one right px covered count open is one so let me complete create case then see once it is done it you are in 8049 go to clipboard now this becomes pr page right because your pay child case completed as child case completed can you see here px covered count is one but is your child case opened no it is not opened already it has been resolved that's why it is showing as px covered count as count open as zero understood guys what is that how in which rule in which page it will create and how it is and sometimes based on the stage for example you are in this stage right sometimes based on the stage some properties you have to disable so how do you do that how pega knows you are in this stage in that stage again guys for that you have to see clipboard only in clipboard it will show you the stage names under pv work page see stage name anywhere anywhere stage name is there or not like like that you check is there anywhere stage name stage name here can you see here right px current stage label is equal to loan process if it is okay if the stage label is loan process then show this property or hide the property there would be like that your your requirement would be in that way also based on the stage you have to show one property and you should not show some properties so that time what you have to check you have to check this px current stage label if the px current stage label is process then don't show it hide it what do you mean by that did you understand what i'm saying guys for example you are calling add nominees in loan process assume that you are doing you are calling that here 
or yeah you are calling here configure view uh, views uh, views and nominees open so, submit okay save so let me go to this review loan details apply loan user interface section add nominees and review loan so in this also you have added added um, nominees this is also section right if i open it section will show this section should show right yes is it showing the same section or not yes same section it is showing now my question is whenever i am in um this is in the review loan right whenever the uh you are in loan process whenever you are uh, you are in the stage loan process you should not show you should not show this section <clears throat> you should disable it so how do you do that you can see visibility condition over here in this you mention that condition expression dot px what is that stage name man i forgot the stage name px current stage i think current stage label yeah px current stage label is equal to equal to loan process okay so if it is loan process is not equal to not equal to anything is fine equal to will take equal to means it should show not equal to means it should not show submit let's see will it work i think it will not work because i have to do that in uh, inside that yes it is showing over here yeah sorry i should not do in this i have to do that on the same main flow okay what's the problem here is i should do it here in the add nominees i should do okay so here in the visibility condition expression right submit save now let's create apply loan submit submit can you see it is is it showing here add nominees guys add nominees is not showing why because i am in create stage i am in create stage you said that it should show only when it is in loan process that's why it is not showing over here submit advance this case oh my god i think i need to do all these things now you can see our nominees is coming up yep why because current stage label we took it as what loan process now you see the magic here now i don't do equal to instead i'll say not equal to what do you mean by that that means it should not show me in the loan process but it should show me on what it should show me on the create stage now it will show you now in the create stage so after this see here now it is showing last time it was showing blank here it was showing blank here but it is showing now because i said that when it is it is not equal to loan process when it is not equal to loan process stage then it should show me 
Yes, it's showing us. Now, if you go to loan process, it will not show that. Yeah, see, add nominees is there, but it is not showing anything in this. Hope you understood, right? The purpose of clipboard. So sometimes your requirement says, I do should not show in this stage, that stage. So how do you do that? You should go and search for PX current stage label, then it will give you the output. Right, so hectic, hectic today. I know that locking is like that. Okay, so locking clipboard, how the pages would be stored in clipboard uh, that is there. So, this is about parent and child case and all. So, tomorrow we will do activities. Right, any doubt?